All right, hello guys. I'm going to uh, show you how to make, or at least my process for making custom cards, specifically full art, because I think full art are personally the coolest part of this kind of process. So first thing, we're gonna go into Photoshop and uh, we're gonna open up our, uh, our file. And in this case, uh, I'm gonna provide a template down in the description that you can go check out and then make your own. But in case anybody wants to make their own, I can show you right here. Our size is gonna be two inches, uh, 2.32 inches wide and 3.39 inches high. And this is really important right here because most of the time uh, it's not gonna default to this. It's gonna default to like 200, I believe. And what this controls is the, uh, the pixels per inch when it's printed out and if it's too low the the print is actually going to not be high enough resolution you're going to lose a lot of detail it's going to look pretty bad so this is something you really want to make sure that you uh you have even if you end up doing your own design so something uh something to note with the method that we're going to be using you are going to have a transparent border and that's just how it's going to be uh, because we are going to be using this kind of sticker paper to put it onto the card and we need the the edge of the the sticker to be stuck on the card obviously and if you uh, end up masking this with this technique the the border is not actually going to stick to the card now this might change in the future because i'm going to be testing out some different adhesives and if any of them do work uh, i may i may update the video and uh, uh then then we could go back for a, a more traditional thing but anyway so what we have to do is first thing we're going to take this and i am going to actually uh, we're actually going to make it a little bit bigger and uh, the reason we're going to do this i'll explain this in just a minute all right, so we're making it just a little bit bigger and then we are going to take the uh, the border and we're gonna blow it out a little bit and why are we doing this well we're not gonna get if we make it the uh, exact same size as the card that gives us no leeway when it comes to screwing up so by adding a little bit of a extra border to work with that means that even if we screw up, we're going to uh, we're going to be able to still uh, actually cover the entire card. So, all right, so we've got that done. Really simple and easy. Our border is a little bit wider. I'll I'll do this for you. Don't worry about this. Um, yeah, I'll do this for you in the in the template. But so now we're going to go to print. Where are you? Alright, my uh all right, so here we are. Um I'm gonna be putting it in the bottom corner because I want to be able to reuse these sheets. And then you wanna go to your printer settings and we're gonna double check this. I'm personally this is gonna depend on how your printer is, but one it's gotta be an inkjet printer. This isn't gonna work with the laser printer as far as I know and you need to make sure that you're printing on high quality again this is you're going to lose detail if you don't do this and then personally this is the media type that's worked the best for me um, you can you can test all these different ones but again glossy photo paper is but what has given me the best uh the best work so let me turn my printer real quick All right, and we're gonna print that out. All right, so you're gonna wanna be using, excuse me, this uh, sticker sheet stuff that you can buy off Amazon. All it is is like a sticker sheet that you can print on. Um, yeah, all right, so we got it in our printer. Uh, let's print this bad boy. Yeah, so it's gonna come out a bit wet and oh, all right there we go looking good so can we get that in focus 
right, so again, we're gonna be a bit wet, so we're gonna leave it for a minute or two because we wanna make sure it's perfectly dry. And then we will move on to the next step. Our next step is we are going to cut her out. So this is pretty simple. I got my cutting mat here. You can just use scissors if you want. And then we're gonna try and get right on the edge of the border. It doesn't need to be super, uh, super correct. So, now we have our, our sticker. So we're gonna peel them off. Actually, are we dry yet? Yeah, we're close enough. So this can be a bit annoying, but it's not too big of a deal. There we go, okay. So we're gonna peel her off. All right. There we go, and we got our peeled, uh, sticker. Now, for the next step, we're going to need a bright surface. I'm going to use a tablet, so give me one moment and I'll grab my tablet. Alright, so for our next step, this is, I, in my opinion, the most important one. Um, we are going to mask our, uh, our card. So what does that mean? We, this is where we are going to pick all the parts that we don't want to be, uh, to have foiling and we are gonna mask them, and masking just means covering. So, in this case, the main body uh, of the swallow and the, uh, the text box, and, uh, and also the text. So, this is again where it's gonna kind of make or break uh, your card, because you want this to be as clean as possible. So, what, I, what you, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to uh, what I'm using is I'm using my tablet and I'm just setting the uh, the background to a bright white light and then I'm gonna paint on this so the reason we do the tablet is because it lets us know exactly what is shining through and what is not so we're gonna take this let me pick this up real quick and we are going to just put some tape on it so that it attaches and so that it stays in place. And this is, you're obviously going to have to tape somewhere that you're not going to mask. In my case, since we are not masking the, uh, the border, I'm just going to put that on the border. We're going to want to keep this nice and smooth, fairly tight, and there we go. All right, so we're taped. You should be able to see that. Cool. All right, so now, Push this to the side a little bit. We're gonna get our uh, our paint. Um, I've heard you can do this with whiteout too. Never never tried that, but paints worked well for me. And I mean, I'm just using literally it's a Mountain Dew can that I cut the bottom out. And we're gonna spray some of that in here. And then I'm gonna go uh, get some water, and we're gonna water it down a little bit. Yeah, so I personally, it's kind of close to 50-50, but not quite. Um, we're going to find our... So I personally have a collection of brushes, as you can see, with all sorts of tips. I'm going to start out probably with a, uh, a middle-sized one. And we're going to mix our uh, mix our paint and our water, since, again, we're... This is our... Uh, is what we're going to be masking with. All right. And then also have like a paper towel or something nearby that you can wipe the brush off when you have to. I'm going to set that underneath here. And we are going to get to work. So. Alright, so 
I believe I put too much water in this, so we're actually gonna re do a new solution with a little bit less water. So the more diluted the uh, the more diluted you make your mix, the the more the uh, foil is gonna shine through. So if you want stuff to actually be uh, transparent, you're gonna want a very heavy water mix. In fact, we're gonna, let's actually try, uh, try some transparency for this one. We're gonna leave her eyes, uh, her eyes transparent. We'll see how it goes. Um, I haven't actually, uh, tried that design yet, so maybe it'll look cool. I think, honestly, the, one of the better things you can just do is experiment. It's more fun if you go out on a limb when you're doing this kind of stuff. But yeah, what what really helps is having a uh, a copy of the card right next to you, which I'm actually going to grab mine. So, we have our lyricist. Can I put you in the frame? Are you gonna... Yeah, you can't really see her because it's too bright, but... Just trust me, she's there. It's gonna help me actually see the places that I, uh, I want transparent. Sometimes it gets a bit tricky to see what you uh, actually want transparent and what is just tricking you. So for instance, this right here, that's actually gonna be a hole. Again, this is a, we're using a bit of a thicker brush right here because it gets very time consuming if you don't uh, at least start with something a bit thicker. We're going to have to go pretty fine for the words. And the words are a huge trial and error process, I'll tell you that right now. Remember, we're going to stop right at the border, so... There's a gap right there I gotta be mindful of. I think that's about it. And remember guys, it's not gonna be perfect your first time. I, ugh, I was trying this for quite a while and I, so I started with a what I thought was a very cool technique where you would actually just so you would strip the uh, or you would use your acetone to remove the ink from the original card which I'm gonna show you how to do a bit later it's actually super easy and so uh, and then you would apply this ink stuff that essentially it gives it a surface, your printer a surface to print onto because the printer doesn't like printing on the foil. Yeah, the printer does not like printing on foil. So you have, you have to help it if you're gonna do that. So essentially what the process was, which is really cool, is you, uh, you paint on this coating over the foil that you've kind of extracted and then you just print your card onto it. And I was like, wow, that's that's really cool. It's like you're just printing a, it's gonna be super legit and it'll be just like if Konami did it. Well, I sunk like 75 bucks at least and probably, oh God, like 15 hours into trying to get a single good looking one. And uh, yeah, that process was very hard. I. I give up. I didn't say it, no. That's not how I should say it. I didn't give up. I just found a different solution. This is what we're getting. This is my solution. But yeah, so 
on the topic of uh, actually uh, masking the cards, I've heard that there's it's like India, some kind of India ink. Heard that's pretty good for this. The only reason I use acrylic is because it's like very readily available and uh, it's cheap. So I'm sure you can you can experiment and let me know what works for you. That being said, all is not lost if you go out of the lines pretty bad because I have heard, I don't know how true this is, but I've heard that you can uh, actually just scrape this stuff away with an X-Acto knife. I mean, might as well experiment, right?
guess I never really explained. The reason we use a watered down is just it's easier to work with. You can use straight acrylic, but you're not gonna get any uh, like translucent areas. And it's also uh, gonna be a bit thicker. Which, if you want that, sure, go ahead. But personally, I like the coat thinner because it lays flatter to the card. So especially for stu stuff like this where it's a circle, there's no way you're going to get this perfect, so don't, don't worry too much if you're a little bit off. Alright, last piece before we start doing the, the dirty work. Alright, so there we go. We've got all of the main main stuff uh, masked. We are going to quick again fill in anything that looks a bit a bit too bright. That looks good to me. Let's cut it there and we'll be back. I'll be back in uh, just a bit. Alright, so we're back. So what I've done is I've taken taken our card off of the light just so we can see exactly what we've been the spots we've missed. So I've also gotten us a, a thinner brush so we can do the details a bit better, but what we're gonna do before we do details is just go over all of the, uh, the the spots that are pretty see-through, which means just we don't have enough material on it. And so, as you can see, it's much harder to see what actually is on the reverse of the card when you have it like this. So that's why we. That's why we do it with the light behind it first. Alright, cool. We're gonna call that good. And then we're gonna go on to the next part. And this is gonna be probably the toughest part. We can't flip it over and see. 
All right, it's cool. We're looking pretty good. Let me focus that for you guys. All right, there we go. So yeah, can, you can see we're masked off for the most part. So the nice thing about doing this on foil is that these little imperfections you see right here, they're not actually really going to show too much. Though, we're not done. <laughs> now we got to do the lettering, and the lettering is going to be the hardest part because this is... It is... Uh, there, as you can see, the lettering is... Oh, is it going to focus? Oh, I'm try too close. Yeah, the lettering is very thin. And no matter what you do, you're not going to get this step perfect. You're ne I am never happy about my, my lettering, but you know what? I just go through with it and I say, I'm not going to get it totally perfect. I'm just going to leave it as it is once I get to a certain point, and you know what? It turns out good. It's going to be a pretty big trial and error process though, because we're going to want to keep checking. Actually, I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit. So that we have a, a more clear, we can see the letters a bit. So like I said, these are going to be pretty finicky. They're going to need to make sure you get all of the white, or else it won't look won't look right. So the opposite is true as well. If you're doing um, a design where the lettering is going to foil, you're going to have to be very careful with going around. And again, these are definitely, there's no way you're going to get these perfect, so don't, don't be too much of a perfectionist about these because they, no matter how much time you put into doing these letters, they're just too small to do perfectly. Maybe if you have like a, a one hair brush, that might help. So the same principle I was talking about before comes into play right here. It's uh, the once you might be able to see the imperfections really obviously right now if you just if you look at it when you flip it over, but it's much harder to tell or to see them when you uh, have the foil on it because the foil is all shiny. And it pulls people's attention. I already see a few places that I definitely missed, but we're gonna flip it around and look just in case. It'll help us get some context to it. So yeah, there are a few spots that are a bit icky, but that's okay. Maybe scratch out. So actually, once it's dry, I'll, I'm gonna try the uh, the exacto knife thing that I was talking about before. Where you can scratch away the uh, extra a little bit. It's great. So yeah, you can just use an exacto knife to. Fix your mistakes if you think it's too big of a, if you aren't, really aren't okay with them. Bye. 
Cool, so that worked okay. It's not perfect, but nothing is. Yeah, you can barely see it. All right, cool. So let's just do the top, uh, the top words now. It's better to overuse paint and go outside the letters than inside because it's pretty easy to tell if you don't have the letters uh, all the way to the edge. But it's a bit harder to tell if you went over it. It's because the black outlines uh, the outlines of the letters really, really show. And I imagine it'll probably be just the, the opposite if you're, if you're filling the letters up. Or sorry, you're, you have empty letters that you have to kind of fill in. Or sorry, you, I, I'm not thinking that you want to show through. Ooh, my hands are cramping up. All right. All right, let's take a look. All right, besides that E, I think we're looking good. So let's try and fix that E now.
think, I'm not too sure, but I think I might want to actually just not paint the eyes. Because that gives them a pretty cool glow. Yeah, we're just going to leave the eyes in the, the thing actually empty. So, next part. Uh, next step. Actually making the blank. I'm going to show you guys with a, not a secret, because I actually don't have any cheap secrets right now. Um, <laughs> I ran out of supplies, unfortunately. So, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to make one, I'm going to make a secret, or I'm going to make a blank with a, a super. And then I'm just going to use my already made blank here to actually put it together. So, I will be back with a card. All right, so we've got our, our sacrificial lamb right here, downbeat, kind of junky card I pulled from uh, Extreme Force, and we've got our supplies, so we have our acetone and some cotton balls. So, this is pretty straightforward, we're going to take something to attach it to because I don't want to ruin my mat and and some uh, two-sided tape because we got to attach it actually I should probably mention so when you're doing this you want to make sure you actually put the tape like this so it's outside the edges and the reason we're doing this is because it is very easy to screw this up and, uh, or screw this up, that's not the right word for it. It's very easy to accidentally ruin your, the card that you're trying to, the back of the card. So actually I can show you some examples after we tape this guy off. All right, so he's all sectioned off and let's, Show you some uh, of what can happen to your. See how it's all. Oh, come on, focus, damn you. Alright, so you see how it's kind of white and it's lost. Like right here. The acetone will kill. Kill. It'll uh, leak over the edges essentially. So, we're not going to let that happen by putting the tape again so it's sticking out. So you're right up against here. So, now we're going to grab our acetone. couple of cotton balls and we're just gonna get some acetone on this and start scrubbing. I'm gonna stay in the center to start until we actually start biting into it. So yeah, we're actually getting through this one pretty quickly, which is cool. Gotta be careful because acetone is gonna sting if you let it uh, get any cuts. So, important to know, once we're actually outside the center and we're starting to work with the edges. You want to always make sure you're going out. So you notice how I'm going out and I'm not going in on the edge. The reason is because the acetone, that makes it easier for the acetone to get under the edge and start to eat away at the back side of the card. And we definitely don't want the back side of the card uh, to get any acetone on it, or at least as little as possible. So this one's coming away really easily. Usually they're a bit harder than this, so it's good to see. So you don't want to put too much acetone on the thing because the cards are still cardboard or some kind of it. And uh, if you put too much on it, then it'll obviously make that cardboard soft, so just a little bit, just dampen the, the uh, cotton ball. On the last corner, this one actually went really quick, some of these get quite annoying. Alright, I'm actually going to use a new cotton ball because that one has gotten too much ink on it, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, off. So, 
and then cotton ball, and then you see it starts coming off easy again because there's no ink in the way. Alright, almost done. We got one more corner left. Again, make sure that you're not going in with them. You want to only go out, out from the center. Even side to side is kind of risky right here because it'll you can get some under the edge and then you ruin the ruin the blank. If you ever plan on showing the backside to people, though, I'm, uh, as I say that, I actually do it, but I'm just making sure not to touch the edge. All right. We're pretty good now. I'm going to grab one more cotton ball and get all of the excess. I'm not putting anything on this. Get all of the crap off of it. And then we grab one last cotton ball with a little bit, a tiny little bit of acetone. And then... One more time. Pretty, pretty much good here. All right, cool. So I'm gonna pull it right off. You can see all the ink. It looks like we scratched this one, so I guess you can see a little bit. Yeah, we scratched this one, so that's uh, one of the risks. Yeah, you gotta run if you're pressing too hard. And I tend to press a bit too hard. So, yeah, so there's our, our blank. See the back. See, we even have a little bit on the edge where it's uh, turning a bit white, which is, again, that same issue. So, that I was talking about before, which is why you want to be very careful with the edges. That, that being said, it's a pretty decent blank. So, now that you've got your blank done, we actually put the card together. So, we're going to take our card, or our piece. We're going to grab our blank. Our blank. And we're going to try and center it the best we can. I think we're going to go with this. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to put it down. I'm going to make sure we don't have any air bubbles. There we go. Looking pretty good. So now... Now, we're going to take the... Uh, so, we still got a bunch of overhang see so we are going to cut that off now Alright, so now the last thing to do, oh, get the top off. The last thing to do with this is we need to round out the corners. As you can see, the corners aren't, I don't know if you can see, but the corners aren't quite round yet. Alright, so last housekeeping thing is we are rounding out the corners. If you remember, they're kind of pointy still. So we're just going to take a scissors and just go around real nice and slow.
Yeah, there, now we have our round corners. So, now we are gonna to finish it. And what that means is we are going to clear coat it. All right, so, got our card, now we clear coat it, so. This is matte, you can try gloss too. I haven't actually tried gloss myself, but I know matte ends up looking pretty good, so we're gonna take this. Set them right there. And we'll shake our... Make sure we're good, all right, we're gonna stay pretty far back. Like, I'd say, I don't know if you can see, but like pretty far back because we just want to lightly get very lightly. All right, I don't know if you got that, but anyway, yeah, so you want a very light coat on it, and then we're going to let it sit for five minutes and dry. And then we're done, and we'll take a closer look at the card then. All right, and so we have our card. Actually wants to focus. So yeah, ended up coming out pretty good. And so uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna be dropping the a template for the. Uh, gonna be dropping a template for the uh, the Photoshop piece or template. Um, and links to all of the materials I used in the uh, description. So check those out if you need a little bit of help. Anyway, thanks for watching.